Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I'm here going to show you a quick video. I tried a new product uh, called Water Slide Decals, and I'm going to give you a little quick glimpse into my testing. Now, I'm not perfect on the first time that I try things, so I set it up in the Silhouette Studio software. This is something I do know how to do, print and cut. And I printed it on my Canon printer, put it into my Silhouette, and it cut it beautifully. So I'm using a Koala water slide paper. They asked if I wanted to test this product and it turned out great in the cuts, perfect cutting. And then I followed the directions on the back of the package. I'm going to link everything in the description below and as well as the written tutorial that I posted on my Silhouette Secrets blog. But I'm just cleaning the cups. So you soak the decal in water to get it to release from the backing. Water slides often used in modeling and different things like that. People use it also with cups, typically when they seal on top of the cup for epoxy cups or different things. Water slide decals can give you a little bit more flexibility in being able to position that decal. When you have a sticker paper or a decal with like Orcal vinyl, um, once it's stuck, it's pretty much stuck. You don't have the option to really move that around. As you can see in the photo, I'm able to kind of slide that water slide, um, hence the name. So I can kind of move that around and it is a little bit more tricky just to get used to. And I'm learning. Um, I, my first ones were fails. A couple of these that I did in the um, print and cut here were fails. The one on the left, you'll see I actually tore it. And so I was glad I made extras. Um, it's just one of those things that's going to take practice. It was not the product's fault at all, but it was the user. User error is a big factor when you're trying something new. Um, and you just need to try and try again. Um, it's not perfect the way I did it, but I was able to get success after practicing a few times. And I did a little bit different trial and errors on things. These with the coffee cups, I was able to then put into the oven and bake according to the instructions on the back. And they turned out great. So I'll share a close up here of that. You wanna make sure that all of the creases are out. You don't want it to be creased anywhere. Um, if it creases somewhere, and you're gonna see a little oops here, um, it still turned out perfect, but I tried to get that. I tore the water slide just a little bit, but it still turned out great after I baked it. So here is the supplies after my crafter math, after I was finished putting those decals on, and here are the finished products. These two turned out. I used the Koala water slide decal paper that's in the photo here. I just wanted to share what I have been doing and testing in my studio. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.